Okay, so after the, I'm recording now, so after this I'm going to upload, I try to upload on Spectrum. The thing is Spectrum limits uh, the number of Macs, so, uh, the size of the file, but I'll try, I'll try to compress. Anyway, uh, so um, in terms of service charges, STA doesn't provide for, for non-payment. So those people back in the days, uh, in the 1980s up until 2007, they, they don't have any uh, the, the managers don't have any recourse. They have to take They have to. There's no kind of action that they can take besides going to the court, which can be costly, which also can be time-consuming. So, maknanya that's one big major punya um, weakness of STA, yeah, because of the fact that service charge non-payment is not covered, was not covered under STA. The second one is the delay of transfer of titles. Ah. Huh? From the vendor, from the developer to the purchaser, it was not um, open to, not um, highlighted at all, and not covered uh, inside the STA. So there's delays in the transfer. There's no uh, systematic mechanism uh, at that time because uh, one of the main um, uh, requirements uh, for building subdivision before was for the build for the land to be uh, to, for the land matters to be cleared. Uh, maknanya already amalgamated and already converted. Uh, so in some cases, the conversion and the amalgamation of the land can take time. Uh, so the, the process of amalgamation and um, uh, conversion took time. So that's why once that land matter has been has taken so long, the the issuance of title also takes so long a time. Uh, so it, it, it delays everything else in the future, including uh, strata title issuance. So in some cases. When it takes, when it took years and years, developers simply what they wash their hands lah because they already saw right. So they they don't want to be bothered uh, with the process with with waiting for the uh, uh, for the completion of the title, strata title issuance because it can take so much time. They want to move on to another uh, project. So we cannot blame them at, uh, at all huh? But that uh, so that was a weakness of the STA. The third weakness is statements of account because there's no mechanism to govern okay, the management bodies uh, at that time, the developer or GMB. No, um, no, no provision under law. Okay, what happens if the statement of accounts are not audited? Maknanya, no third party coming in and verifying whether uh, the, the, what do you call it, the expenses were done, okay, if there's a purchase, if there's a really, uh, there's really an item being purchased and things like that. Huh? So STA didn't cover that. Then things like uh, missing building plans, uh, certified strata plans, documents of title of the lot and insurance certificate. So these things, once you, you, you are not clear who's in charge of the management, so at that time, uh, before the SMA, before the uh, 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 COB punya, uh, punya, sorry, the, 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 the Common Properties punya Act to the enacted, uh, there's no uh, system, uh, uh, there's no systematic way of strata management. So that's why important things were being misplaced by the developer because developer, again, they want to move on to another project at that time. So they don't know where the building plans, the, the approved building plans were, the certified strata plans, the document of title for the lot, uh, for the land, and the issue certificate. Sometimes that is placed. Uh, so masalah tu. For mixed strata development, okay, uh, separation of users for common property. Uh, this one, uh, if you have one lot, one lot, and you have different users on the lot, what to be charged? Uh? Uh, for each particular user. So strata titles did not cover that. Okay. Then, okay, uh, but then the good thing about STA was it provided for the establishment of management corporation. Okay. So uh, for all strata schemes, okay, the management body at that time under strata titles was management corporation. Developer, then MC. So the, the system under the old system under STA was Developer okay, will manage the strata properties up until the establishment of the management corporation. So there's two, uh, in theory, there's two distinct um, apa tu, management periods. One under developer, the other one under MC. The problem is, okay, nanti I check out you the problem di mana. Huh? But, but there was a system lah, in theory, under STA, there's a period under developer, huh? And then when it comes to a point when management corporation dah ditubuhkan, the management corporation will take over. So there's two periods eh, under uh, STA. 
Okay, uh, so the good thing was the STA provided for establishment of management corporation MC um, in Selangor, in, Selangor, in Singapore. MC is known as management council. council We call it corporation management corporation. So the establishment of MC is provided under Section Thirty Nine. Uh, so it tells you there's a provision we can we can create a management body for strata schemes which is called management corporation so this is provided under section 39 sub 1 so when does it come into existence when does when is mc established this one upon the opening of the book of strata register so once the strata register punya buku tu the book has been opened at ptg then mc is um, established uh, is established so these the, the requirement of the opening of the book of strata register is under section uh, 17 so once the book up maknanya the, the mc will be established original land owner shall commence the first gm of the mc within 30 days from the day which at least an aggregate of a quarter of the units owners have registered the strata titles as required by section 41 of the act okay ni baca 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 pening kan now what it says here basically is the original proprietor can be also developer can also be the uh, original uh, land proprietor too. Once, okay, once um, the strata, sorry, the strata book is open, that means that strata titles that issued, right? So that issued by the one, two, three, four, five, whoever the the number of owners of the strata scheme lah. Once, okay, once, uh, dia the sampai number 25% tu. Uh, that is the cutting off point tu. A quarter aggregate uh, the quarter of the units owners owners have registered the strata titles. Maknanya once the uh, once 25% or more. Uh, once more one is when, uh, when it, once the number of strata titles achieve 25%, okay? Uh, bila dah sampai tu then can open, uh, then MC is established. Uh, so itulah the tarikh, the, the the birth date of the MC. Uh, you have to reach the magic number, which is twenty five percent of the total uh, strata titles of that particular scheme. Okay, as required by Section forty one. Okay, so the the, the twenty five percent is determined based on the strata titles, not the share units. Share units tak wujud lagi at that time. Then was not in existence during the STA. So they wait until they reach the the, the, the magic number 25% uh, then only MC is established. Okay. See the problem there? I said before there's delays in strata title issuance kan? Uh, because of the land matter. So to reach the 25% though can be uh, quite uh, quite long. Uh, years after years after years. Yeah? And kadang -kadang even 10 years pun uh, to get to the magic magic number of 25%. Okay? Now, uh, MC is empowered to establish a uh, management committee. Uh, so, the management corporation just now. So, who is the uh, ahli? Who, is, who are the members of the management corporation? Every owner, all owners, so more proprietors. Uh, uh, the names who, uh, who have their names on the strata titles, these people are the members of the management corporation of the MC. But since the MC, since the number of owners in a strata scheme can reach to hundreds, kadang-kadang 100, 200, even thousands. So it's not practical for all these people to decide on one thing, kan? Kalau kata nak, nak employ cleaner ke, employ which contractor ke. So it's not um, practical for this, uh, for the whole of the uh, strata owners uh, to come together to decide on something. They say, okay, kita lantik jawatan kuasa ni. Committee, management committee. Ha? to establish a management committee to run day-to-day -day routine tasks uh, such as payment of bills, employing workers for repairs and maintenance. So we, when we talk about MC, 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 right? when we go to MC office to pay something or to ask something, basically we are asking the management committee. Okay, management committee. Oh, Zoom has removed the 40 minute time limit. That's good. Um, so um, here, yeah, you see the practicality of things. Eh? Strata, strata schemes involve a lot of people living there. Okay, kan? So that means that are living or working like in case of strata office. Kan? So uh, the owners can, which can reach up to hundreds. Kan? So it's not practical for them to come together to decide something. They say, okay, kita lantik AJK. Lah. So AJK in the, the correct 
uh, term of which is management committee uh, from seven and uh, from three until 10, uh, 10 14. Three to ten people, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, can be on the management committee. So, what is the MC? It's a separate legal entity. Uh, dear legal entity, dear um, uh, legal entity, like a company, okay, like a company is an entity, uh, legal entity, which is made up of all proprietors of individual parcels in the strata scheme. So, maknanya all owners are uh, members of the management corporation. Now, according to section 31, MC is like company, it has perpetual succession, maknanya there's no ending of the MC. If the term of the MC ends this year, you will land it, you will appoint uh, another, uh, sorry, MC we are talking about the management corporation, it goes on forever. So if one owner uh, sells his unit, the new owner will join the management corporation. So it goes on forever, as long as the strata scheme uh, exists. Uh, so you will have uh, uh, management corporation there for that particular scheme. So it has uh, yeah, it has perpetual succession, meaning no ending, uh, common seal, maknanya ada satu cop uh, yang mewakili, a uh, seal that, that represents the MC, may hold property, maknanya can be owners of land. Lah, uh, so that's why on the lot, kan, the writer is the MC, can hold property. May sue, may be sued. Uh, so, it, uh, same as any companies, the company can sue and can be sued. Same also, management corporation may sue and also be sued. So, um, MC can sue in the case of to recover sums due. For instance, non-payment of the discharge daripada owners kan. So, they can sue the owners lah uh, to pay back. So, in my particular condo, there's cases whereby people don't pay 40,000, 42,000. Uh, so, the management corporation can sue in high court uh, to get the uh, the, the due sum, the, the sum accrued yang tak dibayar to the debt lah kemudian di hutang. Okay, uh, may be sued in which and how, how can be sued? Maybe they owe contractors money. So the contractors can sue the management corporations for sums owed uh, untuk their debt tadi. MC is registered as the proprietor of the common property of the own, of the land like I said just now. Eh? Some same powers as available to land proprietors. So uh, the rights, eh, the obligations eh, of the MC as a land owner is the same uh, as all land proprietors under National Land Code. Okay? MC has custody of the IDT. So who holds the document of title is the management corporation where in the management office. Dalam bilik kebal dia tu, dalam safe or any lock. Uh, but MC uses the management fund to pay for the management of the subdivided building. Ada orang nak tanya pasal land tadi tu? Uh, dia boleh gadai tak? Can the MC gadai the land? Diam-diam? Hmm, kan? Tak ada orang tanya. Tak apa. The MC uses the management fund to pay for the management. Okay, management fund is um, the, 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 the money is collected from the service charge. Tu. Service charge, huh? uh, this one. Fund comes from where? Contribution from owners, service charge, maintenance fee, uh, the monthly payments too, that you pay. And expenses include general expenses or any expenses related to management and uh, maintenance of common property, of the land, of the lift, of the stairs, of the uh, street furniture, of the street lighting, itu semua. Those are all common properties. Huh? But the new one here is limited common property. Okay, common property is any uh, anything outside the parcels okay, that can be used by two or more owners, kan? common property. Limited common property, uh, apa tu? we haven't discussed yet. So this uh, lecture, we will discuss about limited common property. Okay? Third schedule of STA. Third schedule is known as bylaws for regulation of subdivided buildings. So bylaws uh, for the strata scheme. Among others, it outlines the duties of parcel owners and the functions of the MC. So, parcel owners have their own duties, same as a normal land owner. Parcel owner pun have their own duties. Functions of MC include maintain in a state of good and serviceable repair. Maknanya, to maintain the strata scheme lah. Um, the fixtures, the fittings, uh, existing on the lot being in the in connection with the enjoyment of more than one parcel. So basically, sebenarnya panjang kan? This is long. Basically, the, the, the first one, the first function is to maintain the common property. Easy, kan? Rather than you go on and on, maintain the common property yeah, in a good repair, state of repairs. Then, 
if needed, establish and maintain suitable lawns and gardens on the common property. This is for beautification for the well-being of the um, of the owners. Huh? Maintain, repair and renew sewers, pipes, wires, cables, ducts existing on the lot being used in connection with the enjoyment of more than one person. Again, sewers, pipes, wires, cables, ducts, these are all common property as well. Huh? So, uh, but it's embedded, it's masukkan kadang-kadang, it's masuk on embedded in or on the uh, land. Okay, so the MC must maintain, repair and renew all this. As long as these sewers, pipes, wires, cables, ducts are outside parcels. Kalau dalam parcel, kalau the, the pipe, the piping to inside the parcel, then it's the responsibility of the parcel owner. Kan? Like I said before, in case of leakages, we will we will um, apa, cover leakage, eh? um, leakage bocor, kebocoran in other slides. But then again, the basic rule of thumb, of uh, leakage uh, in um, in a permanent strata schemes, if the, the leakage occurs, uh, sorry, if the leakage occurs, if you are an owner, I'm on third floor, I notice that my my apa nama tu, my ceiling is leaking, kan? Who will repair? Not me, but the owner upstairs. So basically, uh, is the uh, basically the, the the owner upstairs own the pipes there, so it's his responsibility to uh, to to repair the leakage just now. But who suffers is the unit downstairs, can? Who will know is the unit downstairs? So it, the the neighbors, the unit downstairs will have to make a report uh, to the management corporation. Uh, ada satu borang, uh, uh, sorry, not the management corporation, the MC thirty two committee. Uh, make a report uh, and then the MC will instruct the owner upstairs to repair. Okay, upon written request of writer of a registered charge of a parcel, produce all documents related to insurance paid. Uh, so according, uh, so if there's any request uh, from the owner, from proprietor of the parcel or from charge from bank, contohnya, uh, produce semua yang berkaitan dengan um, insurance. Registered charge of a parcel ni. This one, not charge of the land. Ah. Land tak boleh charge. Okay, to answer my own question just now. Once there's, um, because why? Because management corporation too is everybody. So everybody must consent. So kalau if you want to if you want to uh, use the land uh, on which this, the strata scheme is erected on, maknanya you kena dapatkan consent from all owners. Will you get that? No, I don't think so. And also it's dangerous uh, to let the uh, the, the 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 land to be used as security uh, because once there's a default in payment to the bank, boleh gadai, maknanya gadai everything on the land together with your parcels, kan? So it's never done in real life. Okay, anyway, last one, without delay, enter in the strata role any intended charge or any dealing notified to it. So it means if I, um, if I sell my unit, kan, there's a new owner coming in. This, the MC has to put the name in the strata role. This is not strata register. Strata role is different from strata register. Strata register is under section, uh, section 15, 17, 18, 19. Uh. So strata role to uh, later on can be something if I'm not mistaken. So strata role is kept at the management office. Okay, dia, dia tak dikawal. It's not um, controlled by the PTG. It's controlled by the MC. So if there's a new owner, the owner will have to go to the MC and then see form or whatever. In my case, I went to the management office. I just bought my, my condo uh, last year, so I can relate to this. So I have to go there. I have to give them a copy of my SMP. They will enter my name in the strata rule. Strata rule too is more personal compared to the uh, book of register at the PTG because in the strata rule, they also require your your address, your dipanggil, not, not, not the condo's address, but office address for instance, ah, ataupun any other secondary address and also your phone number, ah, your contact number lah, ah, in case they want to contact you. Okay, next. Okay, these are the duties of the parcel owners and these are the prohibitions, what they must do, what they cannot do, okay, according to the third schedule. Oh, and anything in the act must be observed. In this one, statutory duties. Statutory duties, statutory prohibitions. Means, if you langgar, you dah langgar, Dalam undang -undang tau. Okay. Duty number one is to allow the MC or its agents into the parcel. Agents of the MC ni contoh, in my case, there's a worker here, nama dia Fadli. Ha. Fadli tu is an agent of, our, of my MC. 
sometimes father has to go in because to 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 investigate contohnya there's a report from a unit downstairs regarding a leakage in my unit kan so he wants to see kat mana leakage tu so he can enter because he is an agent ya he is an agent of the mc with notice mesti beritahu must give me not prior notice before coming to my unit cannot just come ah uh, notice normally written notice uh, dalam bentuk borang lah uh, unit owner number blah 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 uh, we would like to uh, come to into your premise to conduct a uh, an investigation regarding to um, apa nama a report of leakage whatever lah uh, for inspections and repairs and maintenance of common property uh, also for my for anything like um, aircon ledge outside ke ataupun the walls outside ke crack ke whatever uh, they can come in uh, to to uh, uh, apa, in order for them to carry out the inspections of the common property carry out any work ordered by authority and pay all assessment charges and outgoing related to the parcel so me as a parcel owner i have to do anything that the uh, local authority ask me to do for instance uh, i breached the law i did some renovation i leave down factor kan lah not myself ah. say i'm a ground floor owner say i constructed uh, uh, an aquarium uh, a permanent aquarium buat daripada cement and bricks and cement dan kan ah uh, put a permanent fixture in front of my house local authority said no that is wrong you are obstructing the common property you have to demolish it so i have to demolish it i must carry out uh, any work ordered by authority kan a lot of cases like this kan when the um, whereby the uh, ground floor owners they, they they construct all kinds of things ah uh, because they feel that the area outside their heart their parcel is their own it's not it's not their their property is the common property common property belongs to all owners in the strategic scheme uh, pay all assessment charges and outgoing related to parcel so i have to pay two kinds of things one is my assessment kan semua orang bayar assessment but nowadays there's another payment that i must pay which is um, quick rent for my parcel but it's not known as quick rent it's known as parcel uh, charge or something like that to the local authority uh, so uh, sekarang ni is the responsibility of the local uh, of the of the parcel owner to go and pay the quick rent on their parcel uh, so dulu last time the uh, management corporate the mc pays for the quick rent on the lot on the tanah tu but nowadays no more uh. so uh, nowadays they they have converted uh, the the quick rent of the lot into individual uh, parcel charges for each parcel and it's the responsibility of parcel owners to pay for his own parcel keep his parcel in a good state of repair uh, ni logic lah. have you seen a news report of um, of parcels whereby there's no roof ada ha? low cost ada ha, dia tak jaga dia tak abandon ha? sometimes a low cost flat ha? losing uh, ceiling ceiling lepas tu losing roof and then you have water coming in and then it floods the downstairs kan things like that so it's the responsibility of the owner to keep his parcel in good state of repair not cause nuisance ah nuisance ni banyak kan what kind of nuisance smell lagi apa lagi smell sight um noise ah not cause nuisance and in the uh, and in the use of common property in in his parcel and the area outside the corridor tu i cannot cause any obstructions or any nuisance now, have you seen this viral video of somebody of this uh, party lah biasa buat benda ni? Keeping a kambing, a goat inside the parcel, inside the apartment. Ha, kan? Ha, tu the kambing tu can cause nuisance in terms of the noise it make, it makes in, in terms of the smell ha, that it causes tu. So cannot lah of course. So not just kambing, kambing is a, a goat is a very extreme example kan. But there are people who keep pets. Ha, kan? Pets too many pets sometimes 13 cats for instance so that can cause nuisance as well huh? cannot huh? duty not cause nuisance use this parcel according to approved plan so if the parcel if the building plan uh, the approved building plan says the, the parcel is for the use of residential then must be used for residential uh, not for anything else inform mc of any changes in proprietorship so if i want to sell my uh, sorry if i sold my property then i have to inform that i have sold my uh, parcel to the mc prohibitions what cannot be done use this parcel for any purposes illegal or otherwise legal or illegal which may be injurious to the reputation of the building this one lah um, apa panggil tu 
uh, tidak bermoral, immoral activities lah, uh, tahu sendiri ya. Use a fuel, use as fuel any substance or material which may give rise to smokes or fumes or obnoxious smells. Uh, ini lah, tak boleh gunakan any um, any material yang boleh menimbulkan bau nuisance again. Uh, prohibition selalu buat. Throw or allow to fall any refuse or rubbish on the common property except in refuse bins maintained by him or in refuse chutes. Mesti buang sampah di tempat sepatutnya. Must uh, apa, throw away rubbish in the place that is supposed to be thrown in. Not in the corridor, not in the compound, uh, not anywhere else. Uh, this one also, um, normally everyday case is when you you, you throw away your puntung rokok, uh, your tissue outside the window. Kan? But ah, uh, ini, cases whereby um, we, we move house, uh, the, the, the occupant move house to another place. Lah. So they leave behind things like, apa contoh, furniture, old furniture. Uh, in the doorway, uh, sorry, in the hallway, they leave things like uh, mattresses, old mattresses. Uh, so that is probably cannot throw or allow to fall any refuse or rubbish. Finally, keep any animal. Uh, this one I said just now, uh, which may uh, cause annoyance to any other proprietor. Now, issues. Issues under STA. So, uh, STA is um, full of weaknesses. Okay, it's a not. It's not a perfect. Uh, um, apa nama tu? Um, act. That's uh, not the perfect uh, legislation uh, because there's a lot of matters uh, related to strata schemes, uh, not just strata titles, but also the management part. Okay, major a uh, major inadequacy of STA concern pre-formation period. I just want to say this now, right? So under STA, you have developers period. So developer will keep on managing the property. Uh, will keep on doing all the duties of a of a manager, of a strata manager, up until the formation of the MC, uh, which is once when, once uh, the strata title issued uh, reached the 25% punya account too. Okay, but the problem here is there's a gap. Ah, there's a to gap too. Sebenarnya, uh, there's a gap. waiting, waiting, waiting until when? There's a gap. The pre-formation period of MC and the monitoring and enforcement of the rights and duties of the contracting parties, uh, the vendors, purchasers pertaining to the maintenance and management. So the problem is the pre-MC period and also to the uh, enforcement of the strata management punya breaches. Okay? Common problems faced by the stakeholders during MC's pre-formation. These are the problems here and uh, before the MC was um, is form, was formed. One, outstanding service charge. Two, delay of titles. Three, non-edited. Uh, I done. Yeah, we covered this just now, guys. Okay, anyway, these problems that we have discussed before, guys, uh, these problems tended to continue after MC formation in most cases and significantly affected the efficacy. Uh. So, these problems before the MC was formed will continue until this one, uh, in the subsequent management period uh, under the MC. So, it will affect the uh, efficiency of the MC in maintaining and managing the strata scheme. Okay, so once they realize that it doesn't work, the, the, the system under STA doesn't work because it says that okay, you have the developers period, you have the MC period, but to wait until the 25% to end, how what is exactly the handover period? Is it when you reach 25% that day itself, one month after that, three months after that, one year after that? So that one was not. Uh, established by the STA. Uh, so the, the unsureness of the period of transition to, between the developer's period and MC period means that there's something that must be enacted, um, must, be, must be addressed, the problem of the gap. Uh, so macam mana? Uh, ni lah, dia kata, need for a new legislation. Under the system under STA, which is set to rely on developer to carry out maintenance and management of the building according to terms of sale of purchase uh, during the period after delivery of vacant possession and before the formation of the MC. Now, it's very unfortunate that I cannot draw. Boleh draw, tapi alamak, it takes time. Kalau draw, draw je kan, senang dekat black whiteboard kan. I just want to show you, uh, okay, now if you can imagine, okay, sometimes, like I said before, vacant possession is serah kunci. Once you give the keys uh, to the uh, to the proprietors they can enter they can enter huh? so while that uh, once you have um enact, once you have um apa nama tu initiated the vacant possession you have started the vacant possession bagi kunci ah bagi kunci 
the bagi kunci, the vacant possession, eh, the the, the uh, giving of the keys can be done at that time. I'm not talking about now. Can be done without waiting for the strata titles. Now, like you said just now, strata title issuance can take years and years and years, kan? So from the date when the serah kunci until like the date when the strata titles are uh, dikeluarkan is issued, okay, can take years and years. So what happens to this time? Who manages the property? Is the developer? Okay, it's a developer. But then again, once the the, the uh, strata titles is um, issued, started to be issued, you have to wait for the twenty five percent punya uh, cut off point, kan? So who manages again the developer? So a lot of time, ah. Uh, we, you, uh, the, the purchaser will have to depend on the uh, developers uh, to, to manage, um, to manage well, um, to, apa tu, to calculate the, the correct service charge, uh, not to overcharge them. Uh, to, so more to based on trust at that time. Okay? So the problem before was this one, poor maintenance and management services. Developers sometimes, like I said, they want to move on to another. Uh, subject uh, to another project kan. So sometimes they, they, they did the management and maintenance too very poorly. Like lepas batuk di tangga like that. Huh? Because of the time, the timing so long kan. And not for a profit, you know. Uh, the, the service charge uh, um, calculated by the developers at that time cannot be calculated um, apa nama tu, plus profit. Uh, it must only cover cost saja. So developers say at that time macam charity. Uh. So for them it's not profitable. Uh, so uh, what they do is they do whatever they can with the with the kind of funds that they, they manage to, uh, to to collect from the purchasers. So purchasers complain, poor maintenance and management services. But then developers pula complain. Uh, the, the other side, developers complain, maintenance fees not paid by the purchasers. That's why bad attitude of the purchasers because purchasers feel that okay, I've paid. I've paid my service charge every month, so I can throw away my my rubbish everywhere, or you know I. Things like that lah. Huh? Bad attitude among the residents huh, regarding the safety, cleanliness, functioning of common property facilities. So both sides have complaints, had complaints before. And at that time, there's no government agency responsible for resolving the problems. So if uh, if during the, the, the STA time lah, before the other uh, new legislation comes in, okay, at that time, in the 1990s, in the, 19, uh, in the early 2000s, okay, at that time, if if the purchaser has a problem with developer or developer has a problem with purchaser, where do they go to solve their dispute to? There's no choice. They had to go to the high court. Again, timely, costly. Timely. Time consuming, costly. Okay. So, there's no government agency that can be a middleman uh, without having to go to the court. No government agency responsible to resolve the problem. So, problem lah. So, um, duduk di uh, strata schemes, uh, um, involve uh, apa nama tu, many many kinds of disputes nanti kita tengok between neighbors, between developer dengan purchaser, between developer and also um, contractors. Huh? So who resolve at that time? Court. Okay. Now due to that, okay, due to the shortcomings of the STA, okay, a new legislation was enacted. The new uh, legislation was the Building and Common Property uh, Act 19, uh, 2007. So the, the short form was BCPA, it was Act 633, okay? uh, Shortcomings Building and Common Property Maintenance and Management Act. So it is solely for the maintenance and management of common properties. That was the only, as the title suggested, okay? as the title suggested, BCPA provides for the proper maintenance and management of buildings and the common property during the applicable period. Lah. Uh, during the three times to manage the developer, the in in between in, be, in the middle and also the MC this one. So a good thing about BCPA uh, and innovate not innovation, uh, a new uh, period was established. Uh, the, the the gap too has been filled by, by BCPA, which is the period of the joint management body punya management. Okay, uh, so Act sixty three was good in the sense that. It fills the it fills up the gap just now between the developer and the uh, MC tu. Adi dah ada dah perkenalkan a new um, apa management um, uh, management body uh, known as the joint management body. Nama pun joint. Okay, joint. Nanti kita tengok siapa yang join dia kan. The name is joint. Now by the way, developer MC. So developer is the developer kan. Developer itself. 
MC comprise the 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 parcel owners kan the proprietor. So basically the developer, the owners. Yang tengah ni ah join ni is a join between developer and owners lah. Ah senang situ. Tak faham. Okay, joint management body. So uh, besides the JMB which comprise all the registered owners, they had the joint management committee. Committee ni yang 3 to 10 people tadi tu. 3 to 10 ke 3 to 14 nanti dia tengok on you see ada jumlah dia. Baik. Three is the minimum eh, number of the committee. Cukup untuk uh, tiga orang. Uh, kalau small, for small schemes, okay, they don't need more people. Three is good enough uh, because it will be more efficient. Eh. Then joint management board committee, JMC house rules, diperkenalkan house rules. Besides the, uh, the, the, the bylaws under the STA just now, they have the house rules juga. Uh. So house rules allow for, house rules allow for more tailored punya. Yeah. Uh, tailored punya rules uh, pertaining to that particular status scheme. So, dia lagi elok lah, lagi specialised. Building maintenance fund, sinking fund. Uh, so, you have two kinds of uh, separate, two, two separate, um, apa nama tu, uh, monies to be collected now. One is the manage, uh, the maintenance management, the other one is sinking fund. And it introduce also managing agents. Siapa managing agents ni? Who? Us lah, kita, property managers. Okay, but uh, the the BCPA was silent uh, on whether the managing agent should be registered PMs or not, uh, or registered valuers or not. Uh, so at that time, managing agents any Tom, Dick, and Harry could uh, apply uh, to be managing agents. Okay, anyway, so a new uh, as here one one two three four five six another one or uh, another important. Uh, addition under BCPA is COB, Commissioner of Buildings. Commissioner of Buildings is like housing controller, is a post. Uh, the post. Dia seorang, you can have uh, a number of, of officers yeah, in each local authority under the COB punya department. Uh, so this is where your assignment comes in kan? COB kan? Uh, so that's why I highlighted COB in this year's assignment. Unfortunately, Jadi nasib tak baik, uh, kita ada COVID-19, so you cannot go and see. Uh, actually, I wanted you guys to be familiar because later on, once you work, whether as a valuer, whether as a PM, whether as a research agent, you will have to deal dengan orang-orang COB. Anyway, so who is COB? What are his responsibilities? His two. Uh, they are responsibilities. COB is given the responsibility of administering. Uh, dia tu jadi, jadi apa nama tu? Um, admin is what? Admin pengurus, eh? pengurus admin. All the provisions in the BCPA. So BCPA is parked under COB. Diletakkan di bawah COB. Itu akta dia. Ha? BCPA. And part four, uh, part six and seven of STA. And part six, seven under the Strata Titles Act concerning the rights and obligations of pasal pasal writers and management of subdivided buildings. So any kesalahan, any any apa ni breaches, ha? any issues regarding the pasal writers rights obligations regarding the management of subdivided buildings come under COB. This means the, the biggest headache before to the non-payment of service charge kan. Dulu the, the the MC only can rely on themselves. There's no outsiders that they can they can mengadu, they can go to and ask for help ha? to recover the service charge uh, owed by the proprietors nowadays. The MC uh, can prepare a report, they go and see the COB. They buat satu application to the COB, is to do what? Uh, to ask the COB to come in and sita, sita to, to, to uh, rampas lah. Uh, to, to, to get all the movable properties of the owners who don't pay the service charge and then later on auction the movable properties uh, to get money to pay, uh, to, to pay their debt. Yeah, movable pro properties such as other people coming in. Uh, okay. Check. People coming in. Check. I cannot see. I, can, I have to sh um, stop sharing first to see the chat. Stop starting nanti ya. Okay, okay, three o'clock already. Uh, I know. Maybe some of you want to alert me that it's going to stop soon. It's not. Zoom is giving me free time today. I don't know why. Very, very bagus. Anyway. Uh, can I stop sharing after this slide because I want to see. Eh? So now just, just uh, to, to, to introduce you, uh, who is COB? COB 
okay, uh, we'll, like I said before, example, good example, huh? so which charges before the non-payment, okay, last time the MC, the management committee, the management corporation, they had no, they had no recourse. No action can be taken by themselves. Huh? They can only go and um, sue uh, the, the, the owners, the, the errant owners, owners and the guild, uh, sue the owners in high court. But nowadays, with the COB, they go and apply to the COB to come in and interfere. Lah. Interfere in the sense that COB comes in, okay? Sita, rampas, profit. Uh, Sita is what? To, to, to get all the movable properties in the parcel. Contohnya, I lah. Tak bayar in my condo. Tak bayar berbulan-bulan. Say, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a point when you book a mengadu for one month, two months, no. Uh, but there's a point when, ah, uh, ni dia, cukai petak. Ya, yeah, cukai petak. Pasal ada sambil tanya. You got you. Okay, anyway. Kejap. Ada soalan yang menarik kat sini, ha, leakage. Okay, anyway, okay. We, we will address that later on. Anyway, uh, where was I just now? Okay, the lelong tu. They can come in to my parcel, can take away my TV, can take away my my furniture, my sofa, my my table, my mirrors. Ha, kalau mirror tu, beragalah. All movable items. Boleh ambil. Ha, ada satu case. There's one case whereby uh the the cob to all the kitchen appliances termasuk rice cooker ha lepas tu ada orang mempertikaikan lawyer mempertikaikan no no for some case, uh, 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 under the human rights kan rice cooker tu penting for life uh, untuk hidup uh, so rice cooker tak boleh ambil sebenarnya but things like oven uh, things like microwave itu semua boleh di kita and be sold off in an auction to recover the some of it uh, some old jumlah yang di hutang tu. Each state authority was required to appoint a COB to administer and carry out provisions now. Okay. Um, quite a few of your super seniors, okay, uh, they entered the the public sector, they, they joined the JPPH and now they become COBs. Ah, tu nak cakap, people with degree from uh, UM, ada a few, I think so far that I know two lah, two, three, two, two or three students. Okay. Uh, many, uh, ex students, ah. Huh? So this one, Miao. Miao asks a very good question. I like this question. Okay, how, who will be responsible for the repair if the leakage happens on the roof? Ah, tak sekali kan? Like I said before, if if you notice the leak coming from ceiling, ah, huh? your ceiling. So the above owner is responsible. What about the highest floor, the top floor? Top floor, there's not nobody living upstairs, kan? Ah, sebab dia dah top floor. The top floor though, the roof must, must come from the roof, uh, sorry, the, 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 leak, the leakage must come from the roof. The roof is the common property. The common property is under the responsibility of the management corporation. So who's in charge to repair is the MC that has to repair huh, for that particular leakage. Okay, good, good, good. Sita, sis. Telah, sis, S-E-I-Z-E, sis, betul. Okay, done. So, do you want to break, to have a break now? Break ke nak continue? COB, kita habiskan COB boleh? Habiskan COB and then we break and then we see how things go the one hour. Eh? Because if it's too big, if the size of the file is too big, I cannot upload on to spectrum. So, nanti masalah juga. Okay, anyway, COB, we finish this first and then I stop the lecture. Okay, main responsibilities, what? One, to administer and resolve issues related to BCPA. Uh, anything regarding the BCPA is under the COB. Second, appoint auditor. In the case where, whereby the developer or MC fails to audit their statements of account, COB can interfere by appointing auditor. I have to make sure lah. Because sometimes they are corrupt, MC corrupt developers. Uh, they, they collect the money, okay? They claim they've used the money for this kind of repair, that kind of repair, or to buy things. But they don't really uh, repair or they don't really purchase the items that they claim they buy. So that's when you need to have an auditor to audit the statements of account. Betul ke tak betul? So, so in those kind of cases, or in the cases of mismanagement of funds, okay, the COB will appoint an auditor. Consider any application by developer on extending the submission of audited accounts. Any lah, if there's any, because now the audited accounts has to be submitted. And now again, uh, the good thing about the COB is now they become the the pemantau kan, the administrator kan, of the VCPA, the pemantau of the MC basically, uh, the boss of the MC. So now any um, 
audited accounts must be sent to the MC. And ni apa lagi kena tak tadi tu? Uh, saya, saya pun tak payah. Uh, basically, more concerned about the operation of the MC lah. Ah, ni, ni, ni. The resolutions. Uh, any resolution yang khas tu ataupun any minutes of the AGM or EGM must be conveyed, must be sent to the COB. COB will um, simpan, will keep uh, a copy of the resolutions of the minutes of the meetings uh, in the office. Penting. Then what else? Um, appoint a person to convene the first AGM of the JMB if the developer fails to do so. Now, developer, MC ta, tadi ya, like I said under STA, developer, MC, the middle one uh, kosong, the middle one under PCPA, now they created what is called, oh susah ni, the, susah tak lupa, tak lupa anda, sini. Ah, boleh tak? Okay, tak boleh juga, anyway, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, the three, the second one. The, um, uh, what do you call the JMB? JMB has to be created. Ah, mesti ada satu point whereby you say, okay, it exists. Ah, it now exists. So when does it exist? It's during the AGM, the first AGM, FAGM, the first AGM of the uh, JMB. So who calls for the meeting? Ah, between, uh, apa? Untuk adakan AGM tu is the developer lah. Developer pada masa tu it was the manager, kan? was the management of the uh, strata scheme. So they, as the management of that scheme, they have to call for a meeting for the first AGM of the JMB. Now, ya tengah-tengah tu. Before the MC. MC tu kemudian. Now, mesti ada something yang tengah yang hubungkan, uh, that connects between the developer period and the MC period. So, who calls for the first meeting of the JMB is the developer. Okay. Siap gerak tangan lagi kan. Ha, sebab tak boleh draw. Anyway, um, to appoint managing agent to maintain and manage common property if necessary. Now, sometimes the, the MCs uh, the, uh, or the developer just now, sometimes they do not have the expertise. They will forgot. They will forget. Confirm. The MC too. The MC sometimes the members of the management committee to lawyers, teachers, ustaz, ustazah, whatever lah. Yang there's no property background and they don't know how to manage property. So, so in cases like that, the strata scheme can be uh, poorly managed. Uh, so in those situations, ataupun where there's no MC like, at all, tak berjaya dilantik, eh, that no, that they don't manage to uh, lantik MC management committee tu, uh, the COB can come in and appoint a managing agent uh, for on behalf of all the strata uh, proprietors. Finally, to use the deposit paid by the developer to carry out repairs, to defective works during the defect liability period. So there's a um, uh, there's a defect liability period for the uh, for the apa nama tu schemes. Okay, for new schemes, kiranya developers fail to repair uh, your parcel, your common property uh, upon complaints from the parcel proprietors. Then the uh, COB can use the money, the deposit, no, uh, untuk uh, membuat pembaikan, membuat repairs. Okay. Okay, so far I will stop share here. Okay, so we're supposed to have 40 something slides huh, for this particular. Banyak kan? Now let me see how many slides altogether. So we want to cover this this week, 44 slides. Only 41, uh, only 11 so far. Only 11 so far. GMD. I want to continue up until uh, enactment. 17 dah lah. Ha, Pak Tobi. Boleh, boleh. Sekejap, sekejap. Ish. Okay, anyway. Uh, 3 o'clock already. Only 11 out of 45. Tomorrow continue boleh kan? Kan lah. Continue lah. Okay, now. Um, there's a question. I want to address this question first. Um, Sri Jong, when can COB seize movable property? Like after how many months? Ah, that's a good question. Okay, this one I have read this before. Unfortunately, I forgot already. Uh, not uh, the, the amount owed must be substantial. How am I check up? Must be substantial. If I if say I pay my monthly payment now is two hundred. If I owe only six hundred, three months unpaid. Kan? Three months unpaid. Okay. By right, I can. I can start action. Okay. Normally, the MC will do it. Huh? The MC will issue notice. Huh? 
notice of arrears, please pay. That uh, you have an area of three months, please pay. Okay, tak bayar, tak bayar, tak bayar. Then they wait until the amount is substantial. Normally until thousands lah. Huh? Setakat tiga ratus, enam ratus, no, they don't ask. Huh? Uh, because uh, the, the the process of seizing the movable uh, items or movable properties, the process of conducting the auction, huh? it takes uh, time uh, on the part and also cost on the part of the COB. Huh? So they uh, have to make sure there's a substantial amount of uh, arrears uh, before you can um, minta pertolongan COB. But at least now you have this recourse. Huh? Sudah ada uh, cara ni. Now, cara dia aja, ini borak-borak saja. Uh, COB comes to your parcel. They look for the movable properties and then they tanda, tanda, tanda and then they take away, they put in the Dewan Orang Ramai, they put in the public hall. Uh, selalunya, normally, in all strata schemes, they have at least the Dewan the Hall or public hall or uh, common room, uh, so they put all their stuff inside. Okay, so they will wait. They don't auction on the spot, bukan? They put all the items, they seize the items, they move your items to a secure place, they lock the place. Uh. Normally, it's a day one, it's a hall. They lock the items, they give you a certain time period for you to find money and try to pay the arrears first. Uh, so you are given a, a, a second chance, not, not even second, third, fourth chance. You are given another chance uh, to the boss uh, to get back your stuff okay i think it's 14 days or 21 days not very sure I think 14 days so after the period has expired you still haven't come up with the money yeah uh, to pay uh to pay your debt okay then only they will conduct yeah the 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 apa nama tu the lelong okay the lelong okay uh minya lagi tanya what if the cob fail to carry out his responsibility who will take action aku ah tanya ai soalan yang pandai Okay, COB is government. Government normally tak fail lah. Ha, senang cakap. Ha, because uh, government, because the officers to have the, the, the punya boss. Okay, so boss will always monitor the officers. The COBs are quite good. The the ones that I know are very dedicated. They know the laws like the back of their own hands. They sangat dedicated. They are the initiative, initiative. They try to avoid, you know, the sita one. They try to avoid. They do things like coming to the uh, to coming to the strata schemes and give talks first. Dia dia counselling dulu. Uh, dia bukan terus saja want to take action by uh, auctioning your mobile. No no no. Dia bagi nasihat dulu. Then only the take action like that. Uh, okay. Does the management uh, MC got paid or not? Uh, got paid. Lima puluh ringgit sebulan sedih tak? Hmm, okay. In my condo at least, not that it's very it's small token only. Says the in my particular scheme, kata lima puluh ringgit tu to cover for. Um, meeting expenses, meeting three times a month, lima puluh ringgit, uh, what is that, twenty ringgit tak sampai kan sekali, so it's a token only. Um, now, MC is more like volunteer, volunteer work, huh? volunteer, even though you don't have time, or some, these MCs, sometimes they are engineers, they are doctors, they are lawyers, huh? what else my one? Uh, oh, I got to rumah pun, good too, uh, housewives, they come in, they, they, they give their time, huh? These are not um, people who biasa-biasa saja. They, they are well versed. And once they become the MC, they will study uh, the STA, the SMA. Uh, they will attend courses by COB. COB will also get to know them. Yeah. Is that us? The developer counted as management body or not? Yes. Management management body ada tiga like I said before. The topic, the title of my slide is betul. Huh? Uh, the title on the course info is salah. Course info cakap uh, this week I want to discuss about the uh, management com management uh, corporation sahaja. No, management body badan tu, uh, bukan badan. That is wrong. Uh, management body. Uh, management body organizations uh, organizations that do the strata management can be divided into three and under the current regime under the current law you have the developer or the development period the initial development period tu satu developer kit okay, sambil tunggu while they are waiting for the strata titles to be issued huh? then you have the jmb jmb is the second management body joint management body then you have the third uh, management body, which is the MC, the Management Corporation, for JMB and the and the MC, uh, because 
this JMB and MC comprises all owners. Okay, they need to land take. They have, they need to appoint people to represent them. So okay? the representative is known as committee. Committee. Okay, committee tu can be from three until ten people. Ten or fourteen. Nanti I betulkan lah yang belakang tu. I know it starts from three. Minimum tiga, maximum sepuluh slash empat belas. Depending on the size of the stratoscape. Now. Uh, yang buat yang yang uh, go to the management office every day, almost every day, or meet uh, regularly every month to decide on the contractor. Siapa nak nak lantik siapa jadi uh, cleaning contractor, nak lantik siapa jadi security contractor, nak lantik uh, uh, kita patut chat ke surau kita. Uh, these small small things, ah, uh, yang rencam-rencam itu decide ada uh, comma ada uh, management committee. Uh, committee tadi tu yang tiga hingga sepuluh uh, slash empat belas orang. But to decide on big matters, big matters such as, hmm, example, ah uh, nanti kita belajar to create sub MC sub management committee uh, tu, the whole of the management corporation semua tu semua penduduk kena come together and adakan satu general meeting dan uh, have to bersetuju. Dia ada dia ada six type of resolution, six or seven types of resolutions. Ah, uh. so ah uh, they have to get a comprehensive resolution. Comprehensive resolution contohnya barulah dia boleh um, uh, apa um, buat ah uh, that particular big item, small items, so everyday items. The management committee doesn't have to ask everybody. Apa you? What do you think? What do you think? No, 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 no. It's like mak and ayah lah kan. So they decide on on behalf of the family. Okay. Okay. Doctor developer as management. I think just now uh, I answered the second part of Izzat's question. How about strata scheme that don't have management body? Eh, must have. Mesti ada. Ini sama ada developer atau tadi JMB atau tadi the uh, MC tu. Ah, kalau tak ada lah betul lah. Kalau don't manage to lantik MC katakan kan. Management uh, committee tu. Okay. COB comes in that appoint a agent. Manage, managing agent. Agent normally registered PMs. Dah sekarang. They realize that uh, strata schemes need professional punya management. So they come and they uh, apa nama tu? And they uh, employ registered PMs. So company yang ada registered property manager. Is property manager part of MC? No. No. Bukan. Lain. MC is MC is the penduduk tu sendiri kan ada apa the, the the MC is uh, MC comprises all the registered proprietors itu senang nak cakap kalau MC sini refers kepada management corporation if MC dalam soalan ni rujuk kepada management committee pun bukan property manager MC tu rujuk kepada penduduk juga ha, refers to the proprietors not penduduk pemunya pemunya to the proprietors ha, yang dilantik daripada kalangan uh, proprietors tadi Okay, new. Those appointed property manager are government officer or private business. Apa ni? Appointed property manager are government business. Don't understand. I don't understand. Yang yeah, masa tu tu cakap the COB akan come in force if the MC fail to form. Then they will appoint the managing agents for the strata scheme. Ah, right. Okay. Usually the appointed property manager will be the government officer or they will be like the from the outside the property consultants company. Okay, okay, good, good It's question, up. good question. Private, not government. Private, they will appoint like people from Knight Frank, people from the uh, CBRE, people from apa lagi lah, JLL dan sebagainya. Okay, outside, not government. Then, then for the money because since they have they want to appoint a property manager, let's say from Knight Frank, that must be yes. that means they have to pay yes. for the professional fee. So the so, money will become from the Service MC. charge, yes, no, from the service charge. So now, now, uh, the MC, okay, the the managing the managing bodies just now the three types kan, the developer, the JMB, the MC. Every early of the year, kan, or end of the year, actually, end of the year, they have to come up with a budget for the coming year, coming year, huh? So coming year, so everything they have to budget in. Okay, untuk uh, security how much, untuk cleaning how much, untuk katakan special provision untuk um, charge, uh, untuk sorry, untuk build katakan uh, apa nama tu uh, awning ke uh, untuk surau ke whatever lah all the 
uh, all the expected expenditure they were budget okay they will they will come up with uh, an amount katakan 300000 katakan 300000 so 300000 say there are how many people there uh, 100 not 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 by 100 the unit share lah uh, normally by unit share katakan unit share is 108000 so 300000 divide by what 108 uh, uh, bad example Katakan total unit share uh, for that particular scheme is 10,000. Uh, good example macam ni. 10,000. Say the budget for that year is 300,000. So they will divide 300,000 divide by 10,000 is how? Per unit share. So if I hold a hundred, my unit share is 100, then 100 is times the uh, the, the the hasil just now, result just now. So within the budget just now new, okay, if a managing agent has been appointed that budget ah uh, to pay for the managing agent will be put in ah uh, will be calculated so if before the 300000 doesn't include any managing agent punya payment or any budget now you include lah katakan 6000 per month okay 6000 per month times 12 is what 72000 so 372000 divide by 10000 then semua orang share ah uh, bayar for the managing agent so maknanya for that year ah uh, you dah increase lah your budget kan So that's why before it's good to have the MC from the uh, proprietors themselves because they don't have have to pay outsiders. Uh, but then again, the the committee must be people who are committed, who are willing to give their time and also professional lah. Okay, thanks, doctor. Okay ah, uh, I hope we, um, in class lagi better kan you. Susah lah nak cakap macam ni dah tak lah. Uh, by the way, Doctor, uh, Susan just now the their his her connection got problem, so she okay. requests to enter again. Can you Ta-da. approve? Yeah, yeah, I approve already. Okay, anyway, okay, we we finish this one. Okay, okay lah, ha. penat ke apa ke tak apa tak apa stretch, boleh stretch ke ah uh, gitu ke gitu ke gitu ke. You can do exercise while sitting, guys. You know that, right? While sitting down, can exercise, sikit sikit lah, kaki ke kaki. Tunjuk apa? Uh, kick your legs, kick your legs. Come on, kick your legs, kick your arms. Penat ni? I know, for people who are fasting today lagi lah. Huh? Three more, no, four more hours to buka puasa. I haven't had anything, okay. Done. Yeah, second part. Okay, now, not second part. We just continue up until the SMA. Not not that long, huh? okay now. Second part, GMB. Okay, now this one. Um, GMB. Okay, okay, this one. GMB. So now I said the good uh, addition under BCPA was the GMB. GMB established. This is the date of their formation. We can date lah the 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 timeline of their formation. The GMB Joint Management Body was also was also established under BCPA whereby it shall be, shall be formed not later than 12 months from the date of delivery of vacant possession i said before kan under the sta kan once you start the vacant possession you keep on the developer will keep on continuing uh, uh, managing the scheme until you reach the 25% of the issuance or uh, strata title but in this particular case jmb is not Uh, does not have to wait for the strata title to be issued. Uh, so it doesn't depend on whether the strata title or 25% or whatever. Okay? So it on, it only depends. The starting off point is the vacant possession tadi tu. Once the developer starts to give kunci, starts to uh, to to give keys uh, to, to deliver the vacant possession of the property to the proprietor within 12 months, JMB is established. Ah uh, that di mesti di 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 ah uh, ditubuhkan, mesti ditubuhkan. Itu time kan, but how? Uh, how nanti kat bawah tu. Mesti ditubuhkan. Generally, okay, who are the represent who are the uh, members of GMB? Representative from developer and also the purchaser. Nama join kan. Uh, so it's very easy to understand this con- this concept. Ah uh, because they need they, they said that okay Dulu the under STA you have the developer you have the uh, the the penduduk the proprietors ah uh, to do the management but what, what about the the handing over period tu there must be advice from the developer advice ataupun a proper handover of documents 
of building plans ah of apa lagi of insurance documents of everything tu kepada wakil daripada penduduk wakil daripada pembeli tadi ah so the the jmb ah is the period or is the time when the developers punya representative can teach ah can impart their knowledge ataupun can uh, show the ways ah uh, show the ropes ah uh, to the representative of the purchasers uh, then also is the time when uh, accounts are being handed over from developer to penduduk uh, to the purchasers uh, before the mc is formed it's like a training wheel lah uh, if you if you apa nama tu nak naik basikal kan if you belajar nak basikal first yeah you cannot simply go on the two wheel punya bike you need to have three or four wheels kan uh, tapi the training wheels tu uh, so training wheels is the way of the developer to provide some kind of guidance some kind of help uh, to the purchasers uh, before li leaving the management wholly on the uh, on the uh, uh, purchaser side so again jmb is body is a body corporate having common seal therefore can sue can be sued in, in its name is it forever no uh, there's a death period there's a there's a death certificate for jmb mc no MC goes on forever. Ah, uh, developer period. Developer at the end of the punya period, they will go on and uh, develop other projects. Ah, uh, so they will live on. But JMB has a as a death has has a birth certificate has a death certificate. Ah, uh, dia ada starting and ending. Okay, the duty to establish JMB is under the developer. But JMB comprises uh, representatives from both to to sit in the jmc joint management committee committee ha huh? there is established during the first meeting between developer and all purchasers so this is what i said just now first agm tu the first agm between developer and purchasers who calls for the meeting the developer calls for the meeting okay what is decided in the meeting this one the jmc who will be on the committee Uh, if it's four people two from developer two from um apa nama two from uh, purchasers but you can uh, there's no um rule saying that must be equal numbers sometimes there's nine uh, sorry sometimes there's five uh, five from developers two from purchaser kalau four two lah just now four four from developer three from uh, purchasers but there's no rule at that time uh, There's no rule up until now to say that there's there must be an equal number uh, between developer and purchaser. Now, I think uh, I said that right. So what is the problem that you can see? <laughs> Ada tak nampak? Can you see the problem when the number of the committee, uh, the, the rep representative uh, to form the committee is not set? It's not. Uh, there's no uh, requirement for developer and purchaser numbers to be equal. What's the problem there? Uh, kan 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 see the problem sometimes unscrupulous developers ini yang developers yang tak elok lah yang tak baik lah what they do is during the first AGM they will they will um, ask their staff to become proxies lah uh, dalam majlis tu katakan dia they, they ask their staff 20 people to go there uh, nanti nama banyak daripada developer representative compared to the purchasers representatives lah because um, the purchasers sometimes are quite new to living in strata schemes they don't know the uh, the rules they don't know the importance of jmb they say oh developers are willing to take up the responsibility for jmc okay let them no 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 that's not right huh? now uh, by right purchasers also have to play uh, an equally important role huh? together with the uh, developers so that the purchasers uh, representative can learn from the uh, developers representatives okay So this is the death certificate uh, the, the the end date the expiry date of JMB JMB shall be deemed to be dissolved 3 months from the date of the first meeting of the MC okay see now what's the keyword here for the establishment of JMB for the establishment of JM uh, for of the MC the death of the JMB it all depends on the meeting ha uh, tu the, the meetings uh, meetings or general meetings uh, in um, apa nama tu in strata schemes are very important uh, tapi yang jadi sekarang ni in my scheme last time last year punya general meeting 7 out of 207 came makanan punya banyak uh, because of the lack of the 
awareness among the uh, buyers or among the proprietors uh, regarding the importance of strata management. Dia tak faham. Dia ingat, oh, somebody is doing it for us. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Instead of, that's my right, I want to know what's happening, I want to know what the accounts, what's the situation with the accounts, where the money that I paid every, one, every month went to, uh, where does it go, okay? Adakah dia belanja dengan betul? Ada mismanagement ke? Ah, sepatutnya lah. Okay? Have to go. Okay, duties. Ah, duties ni statutory duties lah. Ah, statutory means uh, as set out under uh, BCPA at that time. To maintain the common property, to keep it in good serviceable repair, to fix and impose charges for maintenance work, to ensure the building and apply insurance monies, to prepare and maintain register of all purchasers. This one is strata rule, 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 rule. To ensure that the building maintenance fund is audited and provide financial statements to purchasers and to enforce house rules. Basically, these all, okay, uh, also MC punya duties. Uh, so JMB ada almost the same duty as JMB. The on, the main difference adalah satu difference. Uh, yesterday I, I read this. Um, apa nama dia? This one, uh, this one. The main difference between JMB and MC because of the fact that JMB is not permanent. It's temporary saja. Dia ada tarikh hidup, tarikh lahir, tarikh mati kan. JMB, the only dif the main difference is uh, between JMB and MC is JMB cannot enter into debts tak boleh berhutang on behalf of the strata scheme contoh hutang bank untuk bayar contractor uh, cannot mc cannot not mc can mc boleh berhutang huh? jmb is not allowed huh? any contracts okay done between jmb and contractors ah huh? berkenaan dengan hutang is considered null and void uh, ataupun jmb and anybody lah uh, regarding hutang-hutang hutang is considered null and void because JMBs are not allowed to enter into any debts, any uh, 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 borrowing. They tak boleh borrow money. Okay, powers. Uh, tadi duties, ini power kuasa. Power ranger dia adalah to collect maintenance charges from purchases. One lah, collect money. Man, the charges are very, very, very important. Uh, without this um, apa tu, uh, maintenance charges tu, the, uh, the strata scheme cannot be managed properly gaji pekerja tak boleh bayar the, the apa nama tu contractors for services uh, for, so for for cleaning for um, security uh, for instance cannot be paid kan so must you must uh, the M, the, the management bodies uh, which include JMB JMC developer uh, must ensure good uh, maintenance punya maintenance charges punya payment okay a good uh, payment is 90% bukan 100 Tak pernah, takkan dapat 100. No, no, no. 90 and above is considered good. Ada, there will be, uh, there will always be errant. Orang yang degil tu. Errant. Or in, in some cases, buyers who don't live there. Uh, purchasers who don't live there. Purchasers who, who are overseas, for instance. Uh, purchasers who, uh, I don't know lah, whatever lah. Tapi always cannot get 100% lah. 90 and above is considered good. Okay. Authorize and spend it now. Uh, just to share with you, because the other day I attended the uh, this talk by MIPFM, kan? MIPFM uh, regarding uh, property management under MCO. When I read tau tajuk, I see only three, two or how many uh, people from us. Um, you kayun ada, bagus kayun. Uh, anyway, uh, dia tanya soalan dia tu. Uh, macam how, how do you, does this one company, does this survey SEO tu? Manage to get 90% and above collection every month. Huh? So people were asking him, how? How do you how do you ensure that? How do you get that 90% kan? Right? Psycho, you know. You have to go, you have to talk. You cannot just um, threaten people. They tak bayar, oh, you, are, you have these areas. No, no, no. You have to approach those people. Huh? Gently, gently, tanya, what's your problem? How can we work, work this out? How can you uh, How can you help me? I help you. Uh, like that. So if you cannot pay 100% uh, this month, maybe pay half. Or we arrange for some kind of um, apa tu, uh, payment. Huh? Can JMB or MC give a uh, discount during MCO ni? Huh? Because uh, they said, okay, MCO, we cannot use the swimming pool. Cannot use the clubhouse. Cannot use uh, uh, facilities or services inside the, uh, inside the strata scheme. Can we get discounts? The answer is no. Uh, snap. 
Strata Management Act doesn't allow for any changes in the service charge unless it's agreed in the general meeting, annual general meeting. So how to do meeting now? Tak boleh. Uh, so basically cannot lah. It's not allowed under law to 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 vary to change uh, the service charge amount. Tak boleh. Kena follow what has been decided uh, in the AGM before in AGM earlier of the year. Then okay, authorized expenditure for carrying out the maintenance works. Uh, Ini lah. AGMB uh, can uh, can luluskan um, payments uh, to carry out maintenance to recover money due. Okay, to acquire property for use by purchasers, minta hutang ni, ni minta hutang, to cover monies. To acquire property for use uh, by purchasers in connection with common property. Okay, this one, swimming pool, you need a springboard, uh, they can lah, uh, they can acquire that, you can use a springboard. Or, uh, common property swimming pool, pump is broken, pump kan? Uh, so, the GMB can buy a new pump, purchase a new pump for the uh, swimming pool, boleh? Secure the services of a person to undertake the maintenance works. Ini lah contractors huh, for cleaning, for security and so on. Make house rules. JMB, MC, they boleh make separate uh, sets of rules besides the uh, third schedule obligations of the uh, parcel owners untuk uh, suit huh, the, the strata schemes, their strata schemes. Huh? For instance, some service apartments ada um, apa nama tu? Uh, prohibitions to make noise after 10 o'clock every night. So that is house rule. Lah. That, that doesn't come under uh, SMA or STA. JMC, uh, ni tadi tu, the committee uh, created under JMB, duties and powers of JMB are to be performed and exercised by JMC. The 3 to 10 slash 14 people tu. Uh, shall be elected at first meeting of JMB and thereafter at each AGM. AGM to every year is a um, the duty of the MC or uh, sorry, it's a duty of the management body. Tak kira lah management uh, at that time comes under developer ke, GMB ke, MC ke. It's a duty. Ikuan kerja lagi. Kerja ada ya. Kau mesti tengok jam ni. It's a duty for the management body to conduct AGM annual general meeting. And in the AGM, dia akan lantik the new committee ya. Kalau GMB, new GMC. Kalau MC, the new management committee. Okay, uh, 12. Okay, for GMC, shall not consist of the developer and not less than five, kejap, five and not more than 12 purchases. Uh, so, uh, how, however many representatives from developer, but not less than five, not more than two purchases. A purchaser who is elected to GMC can only hold office. This is a time period. Uh, it's not uh, the, the committee though, committee ship or uh, position in the committee. Okay cannot be hold indefinitely. It's like a um, apa nama tu, uh, US presidency juga kan, dua term saja. Uh, so in this case, JMC can only hold office not exceeding three years. So uh, AGM is held un, uh, every year, so three AGM saja boleh dilantik. So the next AGM, you have to appoint another person. Huh? Uh, so, uh, these are the basic uh, framework. Uh, mesti ada chairman, secretary, must, must have a uh, treasurer. Okay. Developer can vote in the JMC even though has no right to vote at the first meeting of the JMB. A member shall continue to be member of the JMC until he resigns, dies, bankrupt. Uh, kenapa bankrupt? Why is it so important for for a management co a committee or JMC not to be bankrupt. Sebab bankrupt tu menunjukkan. The, the bankruptcy shows that the person uh, is not able to handle his finances. If he is not able to uh, control or handle his personal finances, how can you trust him to handle the finances of the whole of the strata scheme? Ha, itulah dia punya logic. Oh, no longer a purchaser. Uh, kalau I dah jual my particular condo ni, nanti I move out, then I will not become a, uh, a, 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 a GMB or C. It's my skin. Failure. Uh, ni, kenapa? Apa masalah? What What were the problems of the BCPA? It was repealed. Uh, the, uh, tar, the the hidup, the kehidupan, the life of BCPA was only for how many years? Seven, uh, five years. 2007 until 2012. Uh, 2012 repealed. Di ditamatkan, di, 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 di ditarik balik dia apa? Dihapuskan. No more. We don't have BCPA anymore. But but some of the 
main concepts in BCPA we carry into the new Akta SMA. Okay. Kenapa masalah dia? The increasing number of complaints and disputes. Ini tadi, like I said, strata living or strata um, occupancy uh, untuk cases of retail and um, office strata involve a lot of complaints, a lot of disputes uh, yang mana BCPA has no provision. Dia tidak ada satu cara untuk tangan. Dia has no way to handle the complaints, the high number of complaints and disputes. Okay. The inadequate punitive provisions. Ini the uh, penalty tu. Penalties under BCPA was not is not good. It's not high enough to deter people from making any um, wrongdoings. BCPA did not provide for mixed development. This is a big weakness because nowadays developers go for mixed developments, mixed strata developments, mixed use strata developments. So BCPA did not provide for that. Issues with unmarked common property in the development plan. Sometimes there's no clear demarcation. They don't know which one is common property, which one comes under parcel, or which user can use that particular common property. BCPA also doesn't provide for that because this is normally the problem associated with mixed use strata development. No provision on the calculation method for shares, unit share units. Ah, share units ni was not. The formula was not uh, given by BCPA. So each developer in each state, they gunakan their own method of calculating. Uh, so each state ada own guideline, tetapi guideline tu uh, berbeza-beza. And developer guideline pun nama guideline. Guideline is not a must, huh? bukan wajib. It's not statutory. Huh? So maknanya developer can choose to follow guideline or not. So that means there was a lot of variations uh, in the strata uh, in the share unit calculation under the under the STA under the BCPA and also problems with the transition process for JMB and MC BCPA solves the problems of the transition between the developer and MC hanya di tengah dia perkenalkan JMB but now JMB and MC this one the transition period tu ada masalah how ah, dia tak dia tak jelas BCPA didn't indicate when is the point uh, when when uh, apa nama uh, the handover point from the uh, JMB to MC. Okay. Kenapa is that ketawa failure? So lagi like confusion election process or committee members uh, tak jelas under BCPA election tu. Conflicting interpretations. This one I remember uh, you were in your school kan? Your primary school maybe. Uh, BCPA 2007, I attended a few seminars. They were not sure. They said, what is this? What is it? All people, people from local authorities, people from the professional body, uh, professional bodies, professionals themselves, they're not sure about some of the terms under STA and also BCPA. Even though BCPA too was supposed to solve the problem of STA, tak cukup, tak cukup kuat, huh? tak cukup, tak tahu. Unclear, unclear provisions. Huh? Increased number of disputes being filed in the court due to the absence of nama ni dispute lah. Ah, di peti court tak ada a government agent yang boleh jaga, yang boleh handle the dispute resolution process. That was the main problem because if you go to court, like I said, time you kena tunggu waiting time and also the cost involved. The complicated appeal process nak buka file 2000 at least ah jangan tak tahu kalau ada kes lain kali ah berkenaan ke berkenaan apa-apa lawyer minimum 2000 Okay complicated appeal process for decisions by the commissioner of building ni COB boleh uh, uh, COB can make decisions like uh, for instance before tu uh, appointing managing agents kan if the developer or JMB was not um, apa, not not um, satisfied, they can appeal but where? Uh, tu susah proses dia. Mahkamah atau before that ada lagi menteri ini, menteri itu dan sebagainya. Right? Very complicated. BCPA lasted for only 8 years ke? 8 years ke? 7 years? Uh, repeal on June oh betul 8 years. Uh, sebab walaupun STA, eh, sorry, SMA, okay, the title is SMA 2013, but SMA 2013 only came into force on June 1st, 2015. It took them two years to to iron out all the um, benda yang tak betul untuk apa initiating problems. Huh? Just to make sure that SMA is 
good lah, not perfect. I cannot say perfect because it's still not perfect. Now they still have got problem with SMA. Okay, so this one we continue. Uh, next session, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Five minutes boleh? Dah tak ada kering tekap, dah tak ada suara. Oh my god. Okay, now. Um, down, let me see. Okay, Kayun. Uh, Yo, Kayun. Brian, Brian tanya. Joint Management Committee. Joint Management Committee equals Joint Management Body slash Management Committee. Kalau ada, if there's committee after the name tu, committee means it's a, point, it's a number of appointed people from the proprietors. Uh, so, JMC di sini ada tadi cakap developers punya representatives plus the purchasers punya representatives. Representative means not everybody. Uh, MB, JMB is everybody, every purchaser. Okay. M, uh, management, management committee is just a representative or elected representative of the management uh, co uh, corporation. Okay. Committee to means a number of people, a number of elected people. Okay. JMB, Joint Management Body. Management corporation comprises the whole, semua sekali of the proprietors. Kan? Okay, tu beza dia. Pointer dah, Shuzan masuk kat, oh ni dah tadi dah jawab. Is the JMC office same? Is the JMC office same as the property manager's office? Haa, oh, soalan dia tu. Okay, like this. Proper, not all strata schemes have property managers. I hope you masuk dalam kepala tu. Semua tak? Semua. Not all strata schemes have property managers. But all strata schemes have JMB or MC. Faham? Faham? Ah, okay. Now, so sekira, if, if, sekiranya, if the JMC slash MC decides to appoint outsiders to come in as managing agents, uh, property managers to come in to manage the strata scheme, these property managers uh, yang daripada Knight Frank, daripada uh, CBRE, daripada JL, whatever lah, they will share the same office. Office tu nama dia management office. Uh, management office. So, dalam management office, in the management office, there can be uh, some seats sebab JMC, uh, the, the committees tu, the JMC ataupun the management committee bukan tak tak sepatutnya masuk office every day. They only come for meetings kan. So, maybe there's a meeting room for them. But in that particular office, uh, kalau ada uh, private consultant, uh, private property consultants coming in as property managers, dia yang duduk situ tiap-tiap hari. Uh, contoh kawan-kawan ni lah, ada yang buat PM, yang buat property management kan. Ada like Frank, ada seorang tu sekarang ni dekat Mon Kiara. Mon Kiara. Dia tengah, dia she's handling. She is a building manager. Only two years uh, graduated, graduated two years. Dah jadi building manager tau. Manager, bukan officer. Ha, betapa hebatnya UM kan. So anyway, in her office, there's a cell, uh, the manager, that's the granny, that's her assistant. Uh, umur baru 24 dah ada assistant. Assistant, assistant then a few technicians. A uh, few technicians. So, dah, dia kata dalam six people to six, seven people yang every day comes to the office, clock in. Uh, uh, buat all this work, this clerical work, this maintenance work. Uh, so, seven permanent staff. There's a meeting room for the management committee ataupun uh, joint management committee kalau tak ada management uh, corporation yet. Huh? meeting room. So every month, uh, three, four times a month, they will come and meet at the management office. Clear or not? Clear. I hope it's clear. Ada beza. There's a difference between property manager and management bodies. Uh, management bodies, like we said, under law, we have three management bodies. We have the uh, developer, the developer's period. We have the JMB, uh, which is in, in between, uh, between the developer and finally we have the MC, the Management Corporation. Itu body, management body. Uh, yang dilantik according to SMA and STA. Tapi yang buat kerja, uh, kalau tak ada outsider, uh, yang buat kerja is the committee, is the Joint Management Committee or is the um, Management Committee. Tapi kalau kata JMB, eh, sorry, JMC dengan MC ni, the Joint Management Committee dengan Management Committee, they feel that it's too much. We have no 
uh, expertise ataupun the JMB, the penduduk tu itself rasa oh kualiti tak cukup. We don't want this because if we let the joint management committee ataupun the MC, the management committee tu untuk handle dengan ilmu yang tak cukup tu, the property value will go down because of the poor quality of management. If the keseluruhan penduduk lain kata, keseluruhan buyers lain kata we want an outsider to come in, then a property manager will come in as a managing agent. Siapa bayar? Semua penduduk bayar. Macam mana cara? They will budget in ha? their annual budget. Uh, so uh, dah budget tu nanti keseluruhan jumlah tu akan di translated, akan dibayar ha? melalui service charge every month. Clear or not? Doktor, I confused. Okay, jap. GMB expires after three months of AGM kan? If so, awalnya expires. Eh, hey, bukan. Ha, ini dah confused. AGM of what? Bukan AGM of GMB. AGM of MC. So, sekarang ni, ah, dia ada JMB, dia ada MC kan? Okay. So, uh, JMB will be created upon the first AGM of the JMB. Ha, lepas tu dia will continue, 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 continue. Lepas tu sampai satu tahap tu, MC dah muncul, MC dah muncul. The first AGM of the MC perlu diadakan. They have to conduct the first AGM of the MC. Siapa yang panggil for the first AGM of the MC is the JMB lah. Sebab JMB is the management at that time. So, we akan panggil for the first AGM of the MC. Okay, they adakan the first AGM of the MC within three months of this period. Yang mana ini period MC kan? Within three months, JMB dia akan mati. Ha, mati. Ha, macam tu. Faham? Hopefully you understand. Ah, huh? uh, okay, okay, faham. Dia kata, good. Okay, any more questions? If not, we stop now. If not, we stop now. And you go to spectrum and you indicate your attendance. Boleh, 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 boleh. So for those who are fasting, cayo. For those who are not fasting, cayo. Yes, cayo. Slow sikit lah, cayo. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ah, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. What time is our class tomorrow? Hi, morning. 11, 11 kan? 11 kan? Uh, doktor. Ya. Yeah. Uh, I have question regarding about the assignment. Yang part konteks tu kan, doktor minta a brief description of local authority and then organisation chart local authority dengan COB sekali. Nak bagi chart tu je ke atau explain sekali? Kalau nak explain, explain, explain pasal explain, apa? Explain, explain. Okay, oh, it's always like this. Apa-apa saja after this. Eh? Your report, your thesis, you do the organization chart, you must provide explanation. Tetapi brief explanation saja. Uh, tunjuk saja kat mana dia. Under what? The COB comes under what? Tu je. Who? Who is the officer? Who's the officer in charge? Nama dia siapa? Under him ada how many people if you know lah. Kalau tahu, kalau tak tahu tak apa. Takkan nak paksa. I ha, cannot force you. You find out something. Okay, thank you doctor. Alright, any more questions? Kalau tak ada, jom kita start masak. Oh tak masak, mak masak. Okay. Okay. So, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Ambil gambar tak? Ambil gambar tak? Ambil gambar tak? Ayah lah eh. Manik lah. Tak lah, jom. Thank you doctor. Ambil gambar tak? Boleh je. Okay, boleh je nanti I forward dalam group. Alright. Okay. Okay, everybody. Betul, 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 betul. Okay, everybody. Smile. Mana print screen? Okay, wait. Okay, one. Wait, I forward now. There's a few groups lah. Sekejap, sekejap, sekejap. Ayuh, ayuh. Okay. Okay, one more. Wait lah. Ha. Ha, second window. Okay, this one. Nazri semua yang tak ada. Dan semua yang tak ada. Izzat comel. Rabbit dia. Okay. Okay, one more time. Peace everybody. Smile. Alright. Okay, one more time. Alright. Okay, then. Okay, everybody. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, semua orang tengok you punya um, apa, chat. Eh, you punya WhatsApp. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye. Anything? Anything for all?